This is week three, day three of my stick mobility program. And today, as always, we are doing balance. We're gonna be using one stick and I will have my five foot stick. I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get your stick mobility sticks along with a discount. I'm using a five foot stick because of my size and my space. It can be a little bit shorter if you want, but this will be challenging because we're doing single leg work we're going back into those airplanes and we're pushing that stick up against a wall. So you will also need some wall space. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, and be sure to come back to the stick mobility playlist for more. Grab that stick. We're going to start just with a nice little warm up of kayaks for those shoulders. stick down just to about 12 o'clock and feet are a little more than hip width apart and I just want you to press those hips forward and back so we're here for 10 3 4 5 6 gently pressing that stick down into the ground and now side to side side like you have a string pulling your hip all the way across just a gentle press down into the ground with the stick we have 10 reps for almost all of these moves so we're doing a good amount we're gonna do about 200 repetitions all together and as almost everything is based in an airplane it's a lot of single leg work and now I want you to do a full circle so there's a lot of active spine stability a lot of hip rotation and stability so being mindful and staying within your current range of motion. You don't need to make it the other way. Really intense or extended go to where it's comfortable for you today. And when you do this again next week or the week after, you'll notice that your range does improve. Just working at the hips a little bit. Shake that out. So we've been doing airplanes throughout this program. We're going to get a little more intense today, right? It's week three. We've got to do it. So you're going to bring that stick behind your back and you're going to press up against a wall. So you do need a wall uh, or a anchor point. You could do it into a corner like this. I'm going to show you up against the wall just because I feel like it's a better view for you guys. So bringing that stick just to about where your sacrum is, it can be a little higher or a little lower based on your comfort, but the goal is to keep the stick up against your body and up against the wall the entire time. So if you need to move a little bit closer, if you happen to be a little bit shorter, we're going to be trying, and trying to touch the wall. So the closer you are to the wall, the easier it is. The further away from the wall, the more difficult it is, but you don't want to be so far away that you can't actually touch the wall, right? So you can bring that stick up so that your elbows are touching the wall. This makes it a little bit easier for you. You have more connecting points. You can bring it a little bit lower towards your sacrum, a little bit harder here, right? All of a sudden the stick wants to move. It gets a little more wiggly. So first, pushing that stick into the wall, nice and controlled. 
The inside leg is the leg that's moving. So I'm starting on my, on my left side, I'm starting on my weaker side, and that's what I usually recommend, because then that means that weaker side is done sooner, and I love that. So you're gonna put all of the weight on that right side, or the outside of your leg, and you're gonna lift that knee up, and circle around, and down. One, two, three. You may get some pops and clicks here. That's normal. As long as they are not painful, that's okay. But if you want to make your circles a little bit smaller so that you don't feel as much of that, say, muscles or ligaments kind of grazing against the bones, that is totally okay. One more. Three. Two. One more. Already that posting leg should be feeling this, right? This is a bit of work. So now, next exercise, I want you to think about your leg is like a hand on a clock. And you're going to do one, two, three seconds to get to the wall. So again, pushing that stick into the wall. So there is work happening. Just, it doesn't have to be crazy, maybe 20, 30%, but you're pushing it enough into the wall that it's not just going to fall down, right? So lifting that inside leg, my left leg, and I'm going to kick it out. One, two, three, and down. And up, two, two, and down, three, and down, two, four, and down, five. Posting leg is already burning, six, seven, eight, break if you need, shake out those legs. We're going to lift the stick just a little bit because now as we move into an airplane, your butt might get in the way a little bit, right? So I'm just bringing it kind of to the top of the pant line. Again, that inside leg is the one that's moving. That outside leg is just working so hard posting. When we go into those airplanes, as always, we want to think about keeping those toes pointed down towards the ground. If you notice that your toe is kind of angled out to the side, just correct, try and keep those hips in line towards the floor. Here we go, we have 10 airplanes. It seems like it, I'm not gonna say it seems easy, it's not easy. The stick is behind you, we're pushing it into the wall, there's a whole lot of things going on. So lift that inside knee and kick back. Just go to wherever is comfortable for you. One, two, Three, moving with intention. Four, still pushing that stick into the wall. Five, keeping it stuck to your body like glue. Seven, eight, nine. As always, you can always lower the reps, take more time, take a break, and put the foot down in between each one if that's what you need to do. Make sure you are taking care of yourself because even though we're using the stick, it's not really helping us have more stability because it's pushed into the wall. So we're still working really hard keeping the stick pushed into the wall as opposed to when we had it down on the ground and it really gave us an assist. So here we go. Bringing that stick behind your back again, if you took a break like I just did. So this time, we're going to go into that airplane, 
and then you are opening up your hip towards the wall. So you're opening up in that direction, external rotation. So your toe can lift from pointing downward to pointing towards the side. It is difficult because you're also pushing into the wall. So be mindful if you need to bring that stick up a little higher, do it. There's nothing wrong with giving yourself every chance at success. Here we go, inside leg lifts up, kick out into that airplane, and now open the toe, look towards the side, towards the wall, close that airplane, come back. Again, feel free to stop, put your foot down, take a breath, and go again. Airplane, open out to the side, Woo! close that airplane, and return. Two, if you need to come all the way to the edge, that's totally fine. Here we go. Open out. And close. Three. Four. Five. Close. Oh my goodness. Adjust as needed. Airplane, open out to the side. Six. Open out to the side. Seven. Open. Close. Eight. Almost there. Airplane. External rotation. Eight? Oh no, that was nine, right? <laughs> I can count. And ten. Whew. Take a breath. Whew. Okay. This last move for this superset is a little bit a lot. There's a lot of parts to it. We're doing five reps on each side. Okay? So, again, inside leg is moving. You're pressing that stick into the wall. It's kind of at about my pant line, maybe a little bit higher, if that feels better to you. Inside, whoop. See so again, you gotta push that stick into the wall so that it is giving you a little bit of stability. Inside knee kicks up, open to an airplane, and now you're gonna try and make this a helicopter. Reach that inside arm, over to the outside, reach that outside arm over to the inside while maintaining that stick in the wall. Here we go again. That was one. <sighs> Airplane becomes a helicopter. <sighs> Two. Here we go. Over the other side. Ah. Three. Other side. Woo. Four. Last one of these. Adjust as needed. Set that foot down, set the stick down, shake it out. Oh, that outside arm is working really hard because you're constantly pushing in towards the wall. So first superset, we're halfway through. We did that weaker side slash my uh, stronger side. Because that right leg was the one that was posting, right? So make sure to grab some water, take a breath, before we move over to the other side. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Everything is the same. <sighs> Bringing that stick right to a 
about that pant line. Inside leg is moving. Pushing that stick into the wall, starting with those knee circles. Lift the leg up, circle around. So remember these, these feel easy now compared to everything else we've just done. Three, nice little warm up for the hips. And this feels really nice having just done all that work on this posting leg. Five more. Always pushing that stick into the wall. Here we go. Three. Two. One. Three. Pushing the stick into the wall, we're doing that little clock exercise. So it should take three seconds to get the foot to the wall and three seconds to bring it back. Here we go. Pushing the stick into the wall, and we'll be leaning. Lots of weight. All your weight should be on that posted leg. Here we go. One, two, one. Three, one, two, four. Whew. Left leg is screaming. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Starting with those airplanes, <clears throat> pushing that stick into the wall and bringing it up a little bit higher. <sighs> Knee comes up and kick out. Point those toes down. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Here we go. We're going to add on opening that hip again towards the wall. A little bit of external rotation. Knee comes up, extend, and open. Can look towards the wall as well. Reach in. Two. So for this move in particular, it helps to have the stick a little bit higher up your back so that as you open up, you're not, you're still connected to the stick, but you're not actually kind of hitting it with your hip as it opens. Four. Really thinking about making those toe movements very specific. Five. Six. Last one of these. And ten. Whew. Set it 
down. One more move. We just have those helicopters for this superset. Doing five reps. Here we go. Okay. Knee up. Kick out. Reach over. Woo! Harder for me on this side. Over to the other side. Kick out. Come back. Feel free to set your foot down. Take a breath. Readjust. Here we go. Yep. Airplane into a helicopter. Notice if your foot wants to turn, which is totally normal. We're trying again keep that toe pointing downward throughout. Woo! So obviously, my left side is the weaker side. We knew this. Here we go. Three more. Up. Kick out. Press. And the other side. Return. Take your time here. Two more. Legs are shaking. Last one of these. Airplane into helicopter. And down. Shake it out. Whew. That got me sweating. Okay. We're not done with our airplanes, but we are done with that helicopter. <laughs> so that's good news. So, and the great news is we're not gonna have the stick behind our back. You don't even realize it until you're doing it, how much work that actually is to try and maintain that connection. So instead, we're gonna bring that stick in front of our bodies where it is not connected except for by our hands. Still difficult, but now you get to feel the difference of you pushing the stick into the wall without trying to maintain that connection to your body as well. <sighs> Take a breath. So, we're going to bring the stick in front of the body. Again, I'm coming back to uh, my left side off the ground. <sighs> and similar to what we have been doing, because again, we're doing more airplanes, you're going to push that stick into the wall. The further away from you it is, the harder it is. And you don't want it to be too high. You want to keep it kind of right at about hip height. <clears throat> One more breath. Whew. Those are rough, right? That's why this is not a week one kind of thing. But we are working our way up to doing more and more complex exercises or variations of these exercises, really. So, bringing that stick to about hip height. I don't need, I can keep my hands really tight to my body and this will make it easier, right? Even just a little bit further away is, is a significant difference, okay? So allow yourself wherever you need to be today here we go. Inside leg is moving, and you're just going to lift that knee up and kick out to an airplane so that your chest should basically hit the bar, but it doesn't have to stay there. Knee up and kick out airplane. Toes point down. Knee up and airplane. Now you have a specific height you're supposed to reach and a specific level you're chest is supposed to go down. So you can certainly make it further if you want to make it more challenging for yourself. Anyway. 
This is eight. Kick out. Nine. And, and as you go, you might notice it's gotten a little bit easier. Take a breath. We're going to add on to that. So now we're not going into the airplane. We're going to kick that knee up and extend that foot out. Keep your body upright. If you need to bring the stick closer, do it. Four. Five. Ooh, six. Seven. Again, we have a height we're trying to maintain, right? That's part of what makes this so challenging. for a minute. Next exercise is an airplane toe tap. So again, your chest is going to about where the stick is, where that's the goal, right? You still don't need it to be really far away. Keeping it at about hip height, find that airplane and tap that toe down. One. Thinking toes pointed down towards the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is way harder than when we have the stick on the ground, right? I know it. Take a breath. Here we go. We're adding on. We're going to bring our knee up, extend the leg, get into that airplane. Here we go. Knee up, extend, kick back. One. Knee up, extend, kick back. Two. Knee up, extend, three, four, five, five more, we got this. That's one, two, Toes still pointing downward. Four. And five. Beautiful. Adding on one last time. We're only doing five reps of this last version where we put all of those moves together. So we're going knee up, extend that leg, go out to airplane, tap the toe down, come back up to airplane before we return. Lots of things, right? So even though it's one exercise, it's really like five. Here we go. Knee up. Extend that leg. Oh. Kick out to that airplane. Tap down. Return up. Kick out. Airplane. Tap down. This is three. Kick out. Airplane. Tap down. Two more. Kick out. Airplane. Tap down. Last one. And tap. Back up. Whew. 
take a breath, shake it out. Posting leg is working. Lifted leg is working. Oh my goodness, those hips. We have the other side to do. So if you're able to do these, as we all are now, you already see how much your balance has improved since week one, because this is really challenging just to try and keep the stick that is not attached to anything up on the wall. So that work in and of itself is a lot. And then you add on single leg work. It's quite a challenge today. So finding that position that's at about hip height. Yeah, I'll just step back. Here we go. Starting with my knee, touching the bar. Okay, I can go a little bit higher on this side. Fine then. And kick out. Toes pointing down. Here we go for 10. Two. Three. Knee comes up to the bar. We extend that leg out. Here we go. Pushing that stick into the wall. It might require a little more energy, right? You might be doing like 40, 50% now because you want to keep it there even while you're moving. Knee comes up, extend that leg. Ooh, this side does not like this. It's getting tired, I think. Here we go. Extend. That's two. Three. Pushing that stick in the wall, in the wall to keep my bat, my posture up too. I want to keep myself upright. Three. Four. Five. Oh. Six, seven, eight, nine, almost there, ten. Oh my goodness. Okay, take a breath. Grab some water if you need to. Now we get that little bit of reprieve with those airplane toe taps, even though those are really hard too. But once we finish those, we only have two more moves. So here we go. Placing that stick on the wall. Finding that airplane position. Inside leg is working. And back. Here I am in my airplane, toe points down, and one, two, three. Try and tap with control. Five, six, and not just dropping your leg like a rock. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Here we go for that add on, right? Knee up, extend the leg, kick back into an airplane while pushing this stick into the wall. Not letting you forget it because this is a lot of work right here. Here we go. Knee up, extend, oof, and kick out. One. Knee up, extend, and two. Extend and 
kick out three. doesn't want to extend anymore. Oh. Two more. Extend. Whew. Last one of these. Okay. One more move and then we get to the cool down. We're doing five reps. We got this. No worries. Here we go. Bring that stick right to about hip height. There we go. Knee up. Extend. Kick back. Tap that toe. That's one. Two, three, knee up, extend the leg, airplane, tap down, one more. Give yourselves a round of applause. This is not an easy workout, but we did it. And now we get to cool down a little bit. Nice wide stance. You're gonna bring that stick back behind you. A little bit of ninja flow. I want you to twist one, two, three, tap that stick down, bend the opposite side, knee, and try to look up. Return to center. One, two, three. Tap down. Opposite side knee. Bends and look up. Oh, feels so good. Return. One, two, three. Tap down. Bend that opposite knee. Here we go. One, two, three. Tap down. Bend that opposite knee. One more on each side. Tap down. Two, three. Opposite knee bends. One, two, three. Tap down. Bend that opposite knee. Bring your body out. Come back up. Now bring it to the other knee. One, two, three. Bend that same side knee. Let that top hand really hang. Feel that beautiful stretch all through the extended leg. Return to center. One, two, three. Bend that same side knee. Reach up high, let your body hang. Return to center. Two, three. Bend that same side knee and hang. Return to center. One, two, three. Bend that same side knee, reach up high, let the body hang. One more on each side. And hang. Same side knee and hang. Whew. Right hand is tight for me today. Go ahead and set that stick down. You're gonna come into a frog stretch. If you need to put something down for your knees, that's totally fine. Go ahead and grab it right now. So you're gonna come into that frog position just to where you are comfortable, right? You don't need to make this crazy intense. 
breathe here. Try and see if those ankles can line up to the knees. And I want you to gently pulse forward and back. stick. You're still in that same position. Stick is kind of right at 12 o'clock. One arm reaches high. Then you're just going to twist. Try to look over the top of the stick. And then rest. Bottom hand can touch the floor or it can hold the bottom of the stick. Twist. One more. And twist. Reaching arm forward, stick goes forward in front of you as you push your hips back. Gently, carefully, switch sides. So switch which hand is holding the top of the stick. And you're gonna just try to look over that other side. Two, one more. And then pressing that Stick forward, push back into those hips. Nice. Drop that stick down gently. Slowly come out of that frog stretch. Whew. Take a breath. Fantastic job. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know how you got on in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to know what you think of these stick mobility workouts. <sighs> Give yourself a high five. Fantastic job today. Thank you so much for being here. I had such a wonderful time sweating my face off with you. And Pepper. <laughs>